Let your glory fill this room. Let your glory fill our hearts. Let your glory fill our soul. Let your glory fill our home. Jesus, let your glory love. Jesus do, Jesus do, our return is Jesus do, Jesus do, oh, our return is again and we do, 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 Jesus do, our return is Jesus do, Jesus do. Hallelujah! Amen. Hey, I will 
lift up your name. Higher. I will lift up your name. Oh. Hey, I will lift up your name. Higher. I will lift up your name. Worship him, give him all the glory that is due to him alone. 
thank you. Say, Father, thank you for bringing me into your presence again. Thank you for all that you have done for me in this year. Thank you for your mercies and grace that I endure it forever. Let's appreciate King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Jesus. Miracle worker. You are the miracle worker. All I do a miracle. A miracle today. Come and do a miracle. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. Miracle worker. Miracle worker. Yes, Lord, you are the miracle worker. You are a miracle worker. We invite you to do a miracle. Come and do a miracle.
joy will be full in the name of Jesus. Every blessing of divinity package for you, for your family in this year, they will begin to manifest right from this month in the name of Jesus. You will receive your pleasant surprise in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, God's agenda for the end is the release of his best. Now, it doesn't matter the smallness of the beginning or what has transpired during the year or what has probably affected your outcome, your resources. Now, the year ending gradually is coming. The year is gradually coming to an end. So, what you should expect from God is the very best. We said we're looking at the best for the end. So expect the very best of God for this end of the year. Expect that God will put laughter in your mouth. Expect that God will toil everything of toiling. He will bring it to an end. And he will put a song of rejoicing in your lips. So expectation should be there. Of course, those have been in our teaching right from the Bible study. If you have been to our Bible study series, you would have listened so much on that. So you must have an expectation of what you want God to do for you even in this year. The year thus far may have been like the early stage of the marriage in Cana of Galilee when there was no wine as recorded in John chapter 2. Maybe that could be how the year has been too for you. Just like the marriage in the Cana of Galilee where there of course they ran out of wine. But just like he, when Christ stepped in, he did allow the celebrants to be ridiculed. And he did allow them to turn it into shame. He stepped in and he brought in the very best. That is what you should also be expecting of God. At the very last end of the year, expect the very best of him. So, in this last part of the year, expect the best of God to show up for you. Therefore, child of God, do not conclude on yourself, nor on the year. Let your expectation be high. It is a month of miracles. One thing I must urge us to do is to create a room for this. You want a miracle? Create a room for it. Now, if you look at that scripture in John chapter 2, talking about the marriage in Cana of Galilee, there was a preparation for the miracle to actually take place. The marriage in Cana of Galilee had six empty pots, water pots. So there were six empty water pots that were made available. So all that was required was what? The miracle to come. So if the miracle needed to happen, and there was no, no vacuum to accommodate it. It means that there would not be a challenge. So what am I saying tonight? Create a room for that miracle. Create a room for it. For that expectation, create a room for it. Just like we read in John chapter 2, where the water pots were actually made em available, six of them. They were empty, expecting a miracle to happen. And I know that whatever you are believing God for in this year, the Jehovah that I know that never fail, that never forsake his own, he will come through for you in the name of Jesus Christ. So, I urge you tonight, even as you partake in the communion, don't just come and take it as a regular exercise, but no, have expectation. Let the communion say, say come to communion today and say, God, in this communion, I'm expecting my healing. I am expecting my breakthrough. I am expecting my liberation. I am expecting this neighbor promotion or the other. So whatever you are trusting God for, have it as an expectation. Create room for it and come to God even at this communion table with it. And I know that God will meet you at the very point of your need in the name of Jesus Christ. Quickly, we'll become partaking in the communion and the communion of people who are partaking today will be a communion of quick miracles. God will be doing quick, quick miracles in the life of everyone in praise Sabanako, even in this season. So quickly, can we have the communion? We'll be taking that because we want to actually pray and we'll be spending so much time in praying. Our Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, 
We speak concerning these elements. We ask, O oh God, you will bless them. Turn, O oh God, the communion to now represent your blood and your body. That everyone that will partake from it tonight, O oh God, Father, may they receive, O oh God, their own expectant miracle. Every of their desire, Father, you will grant it tonight. And you will cause, indeed, our joy to be full. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Quickly, we'll be coming around to take the body. And as we do, we'll be taking a prayer. A prayer as you take the body and, of course, the wine. You can hold on to the wine. We'll take the wine together. You just take the body and you can proceed in taking that. Your prayer is going to be, Father, by this communion tonight, give me a miracle over sickness, over lack, over scarcity in the name of Jesus Christ. That will be your prayer. Say, Father, give me miracles over sickness, over lack, over scarcity in the name of Jesus Christ. I read God's word for us in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 from verse 23. 1 Corinthians 11, 23. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night where he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he breaks it and said, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Can we come forward quickly and take the communion? And you begin to make that prayer, Father, by this communion tonight, give me a miracle over sickness, over scarcity, over lack, over delay. Begin to make that prayers. Give me grace to be more than conqueror. 
and give me miracle tonight. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit, take it and you begin to pray. Father, make me more than conqueror. In the name of Jesus, make me more than conqueror tonight. By this communion tonight, make me more than conqueror. By the blood of Jesus, make me more than conqueror. I am more than conqueror. By the blood of Jesus, the blood that conquers sickness, the blood that conquers devil, the blood that conquers affliction, indeed make me more than conqueror. And make me, oh God, a miracle tonight. Miracle, make me a miracle to my generation in the name of Jesus. Can you pray? Let your hear your voice say, Father, tonight, make me more than conqueror. On account of God of this communion, tonight, Father, make me more than conqueror. Ezipa Rebecca Shibo Delemeta. Ego Mesida Lokamba Yada. Make me even more than conqueror. I am victorious on every side. In the name of Jesus, make me indeed more than conqueror. Make me indeed more than conqueror. In the name of Jesus, Allah Shima Doleke Namosuda. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Glory to your name. Blessed be your name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. That we lift our voice and begin to appreciate this King of Kings for what He has done for us all through this year and for bringing us to the eleventh month of the year. Say, Father, thank you for bringing me, Lord God, to the eleventh month of this year. Let's appreciate the King of Kings. Give Him all the glory that is due to Him alone, Father, for bringing me, Lord God, to the eleventh month of this year. I give You all the glory. I give You all the praise. Thank You, Jesus. Thank You, Jesus, for bringing me to the eleventh month of this year. I am grateful. I am grateful. Father, thank you for all that you have done for me. For bringing me, Lord God, even to this time. For bringing me, Lord God, to this 11th month of the year. Thank you for your goodness thus far. For your faithfulness, for your mercy. Glory to your name on high. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Again, we're going to appreciate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords for his mercies and love towards us and our family. Let's say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank for your mercies and for your love towards me and my family. Appreciate the King of Kings. Say, Father, for your mercies and for your love that you have shown towards me and my household, I give you all the glory. We are grateful for all the mercy, for the grace you have shown to us, praise Sabanaku. Father, we say thank you. Father, for the mercy, for the great grace we have seen in our life, we say to you be all the glory. Blessed be your name, Father. We thank you. We give you praise. We will appreciate you. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name on high. Thank you for your mercy, love, and grace towards us. Be thou exalted, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let's say, Father, as I have partaken in the communion tonight, anything that cannot be found in Jesus, let it disappear out of my life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, because we have partaken in the communion, which is the body and the blood of Christ, anything that cannot be found in Jesus, Father, we decree, let such thing give way. Let it give way. Let it disappear. Let it give way from our life. In the name of Jesus. Anything that cannot be found in Jesus. No more shall such thing be found in us. No more shall it be found in us. It shall not be found in our life. In the name of Jesus. Because sickness cannot be found in Jesus. So sickness cannot be part of me. Because scarcity is not of Jesus. Scarcity cannot be of me. In the name of Jesus. Because lack cannot be found in Jesus. Lack will not be found in me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because fruitlessness cannot be found in Jesus. I shall be fruitful. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because I am partaking in the communion tonight. Father, anything that cannot be found in Jesus. 
Father, let every of such thing disappear out of my life. In the name of Jesus, let them give way. Let them give way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Manakashi Badosa, let it give way. By the power of your name, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. We have heard God's word. He said the best is reserving for us even at this end. So without understanding of that scripture, we're going to be asking God that the best for the year will manifest in our life. Say, Father, let the best for the end for me. Locate me by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let your best for the end for me. Let it locate me tonight by fire. The best that you have for this year, 2022, let it locate me. Let it locate my household. Let it locate my family. Let it locate your church. Praise the Lord. The best that you have for me. Father, let the best locate me. Let the best locate me. In the name of Jesus. The very best that you have for me in this year. Father, let it begin to manifest. In the name of Jesus. Lord, just like you step in. In the marriage of Cain of Galilee. And you gave them the best of wine at the last minute. Father, let the best for me. Let it burst forth in this end of the year. In the name of Jesus, let the best you have reserved for me. Father, let it come forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I receive the best of the miracles. I receive the best, O God, of my greatness. I receive the best I have ever seen. It will manifest even at this season of the year in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because we know the very said best you have for us, it will manifest this year. It will manifest this season. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I can say, Father, in this month, open unto me the gate of abundance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Turn into prayer, Father, in this month, I walk into my season of abundance. Open unto me the gate of abundance. Open unto your church the gate of abundance. In the name of Jesus. As somebody is not praying, you are praying for yourself, you are praying for your family. Say, Father, in this season, open unto me the gate of abundance. La Badosa. Open unto your church, Jesus, the gate of abundance. In the name of Jesus, open unto us the gate of abundance as we are set to work in a season of miracles. Father, open unto us the gate of abundance. The gate of abundance in the name of Jesus. Open unto us the gate of abundance in the name of Jesus. The gate of abundance, Jesus. Open unto us. Open them unto us. Open them unto your church. In this season, of God of the year, Father, open unto us the gate of abundance. The gate of abundance. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, we give you praise. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let us get the Father. Every power that is prolonging the manifestation of my miracle expire today in the name of Jesus. Turn into prayer. It's your season of miracles. God expect that you begin to manifest therein. Father, every power that is out to prolong the manifestation of my miracles, let them expire today in the name of Jesus. Cry to your Father. Cry to your Maker. Let God hear your voice. Father, every power that is set to prolong the manifestation of my miracles, let those power expire tonight. Let those power expire tonight. Ah, cry. Call upon God. Call upon your maker. Say, Father, let the power expire. Let them expire. Let them expire. Every power that is out to prolong the manifestation of my miracles.
Aspire tonight. Aspire tonight. Every power, every power from the gate of hell that is prolonging the manifestation of my miracles tonight. Aspire. Aspire by fire in the name of Jesus. Henceforth, I will begin to walk in my season of miracles in the name of Jesus. Mata le kashi dadosa, reke bata si mata yede, e kwabata shine me kadaya, e kadada. Every power prolonging the manifestation of my miracle, expire by the power of the Most High in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In his word, in Psalm 23 from verse 5, he said, Thou prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And he anointed my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. That is miracle in essence. My miracles, they are running out in essence. They are running over. With the understanding of that scripture, let's say, Father, in this month of miracles, anoint my head with oil and give me an overflowing blessing in the name of Jesus. Father, anoint me Lord, with fresh oil and give me an overflowing blessing in this month of miracle. Anoint me with oil and give me an overflowing blessing in the name of Jesus. Overflowing blessing will locate my household. Overflowing blessing will locate my family. Overflowing blessing will locate me. Overflowing blessing, locate the church of God in the name of Jesus. Overflowing blessing, overflowing blessing, locate us tonight by fire. Let overflowing blessing locate our household in the name of Jesus. Let overflowing blessing locate us, O oh God, by your mercy in the name of Jesus. Lama Shikabada Overflowing blessing, locate me. Overflow blessing, locate my career, locate my blessing, locate my business, locate oh God, and I said to do everything I lay my hands upon. Overflow blessing, overflowing blessing, because it's my season of the miraculous. Father, I will experience overflowing blessing in my place of work. Overflowing blessing in the name of Jesus. Overflowing blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Saying in his word in Psalm 102 from verse 13, he said, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her, yea, the set time is come. Say, Father, let the fountain break forth. Let favor break forth in this month. In the name of Jesus. Peter make that declaration in this month. This is the set time for my miracle. Let the fountain break forth. Let favor break forth for me. Let miracle begin to happen for me. Let my favor come. Ah, Jesus. Somebody is not praying. You are praying for yourself this time. Say, Father, in this season, let the fountain of favor break forth. It is my season of the miraculous. Let favor break forth. In the name of Jesus, let my healing be established. In the name of Jesus, let my next level manifest. In the name of Jesus, let my next level manifest now. In the name of Jesus, by the power of your name, I receive grace to walk, O oh God, in divine favor. Let my next level manifest. Favor break forth. Now, healing come now, greatness come now, in the name of Jesus. It is my set time, it is my set time. I receive, oh God, that divine miracle for my next level. I receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of your name, it shall be so. For in Jesus mighty name we pray. One of the things that will work against the manifestation of the miraculous is the power of household wickedness. I will go be confronting them right away. I will go say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I paralyze every activity 
of household wickedness over my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Points of prayer in the name of Jesus. I paralyze every activities of household wickedness over my life, over my destiny, over the church of God. Every activities, every work of household wickedness. We paralyze them in the name of Jesus. We paralyze them in the name of Jesus. Every power of household wickedness working against the manifestation of my miracle. I paralyze them. I put them to an end tonight. In the name of Jesus. By the power of your name. Father, paralyze. Put to an end the activities of household wickedness against our life, against our destiny. In the name of Jesus. We paralyze them. We paralyze them. We paralyze them. We paralyze them. We ask, oh God, that their activities, their works, come to an end tonight by the power of your name. Their works come to an end now by the power of your name. In the name of Jesus, sweet Holy Ghost, by the power of your name, we paralyze every activities of house of wickedness against us. By the power of your name, we paralyze them. In the name of Jesus, by the power of your name, they are paralyzed. All their activities come to an end. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Perhaps somebody did not understand why we pray that prayer. But let me read to you us God's word. If you read the book of John, chapter 11, you read the book of John, chapter 11, chapter 12, Tells on an account of the man Lazarus in that story. Let me read a few verses from us. From chapter 12, verse 9. It says, So much people of the Jews, therefore, knew that he was there. They came not for Jesus. They came not for Jesus' sake, but that they might see Lazarus also, whom he has raised from the dead. From verse 10. But the chief priests consulted that they might put Lazarus back to death. Lazarus was raised back to life on account of a miraculous encounter. And people were saying, let us go and put him back to death. Let's kill him. If you are going to Let's read verse 11. He said, because that by reason of him, many of the Jews went away and believed on Jesus. A miracle happened. People were not happy about the miracle. They said, let's kill it. Let's kill that miracle. So we're going to be praying again. Against every house of wickedness. That power that said that miracle that I'm receiving this year, they will kill it. That miracle that God will give to me, they will kill it. That is the power we're going to be confronting now. He said, Holy Ghost fire. Paralyze every effort of the wicked against my miracles, against my promotion, against my progress in the name of Jesus lift your voice and begin to pray every power of the enemy every of their efforts against the manifestation of my miracle father I destroy them every effort of the enemy against the miracle you are set to release to me oh God in this month father by your power I destroy them Every power of the enemy against the miracle I will receive from you tonight against my promotion. Every of the manifestation of the enemy against that miracle. Father, I destroy them. I destroy them. I destroy them. Any power of hell working against my miracle, working against the manifestation of my miracle. Father, I destroy them. Anyone the enemy we use to truncate your miracle for my life. Father, I terminate the assignment. I terminate the assignment. I destroy the stronghold in the name of Jesus. Ah, that miracle you are bringing to praise tabernacle. Anyone that is out to adulterate it, Father, we terminate the assignment. We destroy the stronghold. We destroy the stronghold. We destroy the stronghold in the name of Jesus. That miracle you we are receiving from you, Father, it will be evident for the eyes of men to see. It will be evident for the eyes of men to see. They will see and they will give you glory. In the name of Jesus. Mashika Daledama. Regesi Twamate Yada. 
The power of the wicked against the manifestation, against our testimony in this season. By the power of your name, Father, we destroy their stronghold. We destroy their stronghold. Any power of hell that is out to bury our testimony, that is out to put again to death, that which you have brought to life in our life, we destroy them. In the name of Jesus. Rada Shide Mozada. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say with the other scripture, let's say every power, every power working against my greatness, against my advancement, be roasted by fire. In the name of Jesus, turn that is the prayer. Every power that is working against my advancement, working against my greatness, be roasted by fire. Be roasted by fire. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, let your fire roast every power working against the manifestation of my greatness, of my advancement. In the name of Jesus, every power working against the manifestation of my greatness, Holy Ghost, roast them by fire. Roast them by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Let us say, Father, by the manifestation of the miraculous power, I will achieve excellence, greatness, effortlessly in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Father, by the manifestation of your miraculous power in my life, I will achieve excellent. I will achieve greatness. I will achieve wonders effortlessly by the power of your name because it is your power of miracles that is at work. Because your miraculous power is at work, I will achieve excellence. I will achieve greatness effortlessly. Not by my power, not by might, but by your spirit. Father, I will achieve greatness effortlessly in the name of Jesus. I will achieve greatness effortlessly by the power of your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I can say, Father, give me divine direction that will propel my life to greatness in the name of Jesus. In this month, Father, give me divine direction that will propel my life, that will direct my life, that will channel my life towards greatness. Divine direction that will channel my life into greatness. I receive it. I receive it tonight by the power of your name. I receive it tonight by the power of your name. Greatness that will prepare my life. Oh God, your divine direction that will prepare my life towards greatness. I receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. It is so. Be thou glorified. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Church, in 30 seconds, begin to lift your personal desire to the hand of God. That which you want God to do for you, that miracle that you want to see in this month, begin to confess it to the ears of God. You are not telling man, you are not telling anyone, you are not telling me. Begin to confess it to the ears of God. Say, Father, this is the miracle I want to see in my life in this month. This is the miracle I want you to do for my family in this month. This is the miracle that, oh God, you will do in our midst, in praise of Abaco, in this month, in my family, concerning, Lord God, my career. This is the miracle you will do for me. Father, this is the miracle I expect from you. Father, do this for me. Do this for me. Speak to his ears and let him do it for you. Speak to God right away. Father, do this miracle for me. Do this miracle for me. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Father, we give you all the glory and praise. Thank you, O God, for indeed, O God, you are set to give us the very best at the end. We ask, O God, even in this month, O God, Father, let every of our miraculous O God expectation come to manifestation. In the name of Jesus, everything, O God, that we have been trusting you for, that we have been believing you for, that in this season we ask, O God, Father, 
by your miraculous power. We ask you, God, bring it to God as a testimony in the name of Jesus. And every prayer we have offered up to you, Lord God, tonight, Father, answer us speedily in the name of Jesus. The end of this year will be glorious for every one of us. The end of this year, Lord God, will be pleasant for us in the name of Jesus. With our ears, we will hear evil news. We will have bad reports. But it will not come near us. In the name of Jesus, it's a season of miracles. Father, everyone in Praise Tabaco, they will express a divine miraculous encounter. In the name of Jesus, even as we go tonight, oh God, even before we get home, let us begin to express the manifestation of that miracles. In the name of Jesus, it shall be so to the glory and praise of your name. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. If you know your miracle is next, can you shout a better A?